Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now, despite this vast array of ingredients in front of me, the dish I'm going to make is relatively simple. I'm going to make a roast vegetable lasagna. Now, step one of our dish is just chopping up. To begin with, all we're going to do is chop up our vegetables and put them in a tray with a bit of oil and a bit of seasoning to roast off. Now, vegetable-wise, vegetable-wise, you could use whatever you want, really. Um, I've just got to make sure of some veg that I happen to have in the house and some of the things I like. I've got some sweet pepper. That roasts off really, really well. I've got some courgettes. I've got some mushrooms. I've got a little bit of... I've got some onions. And you can pretty much use whatever you have to hand. So I'm just going to chop these up quite coarsely. I don't need to be too, too fine or particularly with them. Chop them up uh, and then throw them in, inside of a, a dish. Some seasonings and then bake. Okay, so all my veg is chopped. Now this looks like a lot of veg and it is a lot of veg. But once it starts roasting, it will juice down by at least a third, if not a half. So into this now, all I'm going to do is add a bit of seasoning. Now, not everything has to be made from scratch. For example, I'm going to use some nor vegetable stock cubes. I've got about three here. I'm just going to quickly bob them into my mortar and pestle. I'm just going to mix them up together. A little bit of oil and a few other seasonings so I can drain that, drizzle that over the vegetables, bang them in the oven, ready to roast. Okay, and we have our tasty mix right here. Inside of here, we've got some vegetable stock cubes, some chili, some garlic. You can put whatever seasonings you actually like, but it's quite a, a rich mixture. I'm going to use that to cover the vegetables completely, and then I'm going to roast them in the oven. I'm going to pour this thick mixture right the way over all the veg. So once you've seasoned them all, Give it a good mix, make sure the oil and the seasoning covers everything. And then, once we fully mix these in, we're going to transfer to the oven. This will take about 45 minutes to cook this down. And while these are cooking, we can be making both uh, our tomato sauce, which goes on with this, and also the cheese sauce, which um, famously goes over the top and between the layers. Pasta wise, we've already got our pasta. We're, I'm, in a previous video, or previously, I've made uh, some fresh spinach pasta, so I'm gonna be using that uh, as a lasagna sheet between the layers. Okay, so our vegetables are in the oven roasting, and they're roasting off really, really well. We've got about maybe 10, 15 minutes left, which is just enough time for me to sort of make the tomato sauce. Now the tomato sauce really for this dish couldn't be simpler. All we do is wait for the oil to heat up, we know it's fully hot when it runs fully light liquid. If you really want to double check, you can drop a piece in. And if it starts to sizzle straight away, we know the temperature, the oil's up the temperature. Okay, our onions have cooked down nicely. Notice I've not, I've not allowed them to brown too much, but just to slowly soften. I'm gonna put the heat up a little bit now. So I've put the heat back on full. Now our onions are fully cooked through and softened. The next part with this, really quite simple, is I'm gonna put in two cans of tomato and these really, in order to get the flavour, you really do need to allow time for this to reduce down. Now there's two ways of thickening a sauce. You can use a starch, like a corn flour, or you can use a reduction method, which is what I'm going to use today. That's where you put the tomato in, and as you cook it, the liquid or the water evaporates out, which concentrates the flavour. Now the final component of our lasagna is the white sauce that goes on top and also between the layers, a cheese sauce. So let's just refresh ourselves. We've got um, lasagna sheets, which have, uh, which we made previously. And if you see the, the other video, if you look back through the videos and see how to make spinach pasta, you'll see how I made the lasagna sheet for this particular dish. So we have lasagna sheets, obviously essential. Uh, we have our vegetables seasoned and roasting off in the oven. They'll be out shortly. We've got our tomato sauce, which is reducing down. It will take about 15, 20 minutes. So while it's reducing down, the final component now is to make the cheese sauce. Now there's different ways of making a, a cheese sauce or white sauce. One is called the all-in-one method, which is what I'm going to use today. 
and the other way is called a roux method, which I've used previously. That's uh, where you cook off the flour and, uh, and the fat and the butter in a pan. So it almost makes a bit of a dough and you slowly add in the milk. But to be honest with you, I've, done, I've made sauces many times using both methods and I can't see an awful lot of difference, apart from the fact that this way is much easier. So that's what I'm going to use today. Keep it simple. Use more or less according to how big your lasagna is, but for me, I'm using a spoonful of butter. Actually, it's margarine, uh, Vitalite vegan margarine. As it turns out, this is a vegan dish, but not so you know it. So we're going to have our butter or our vegetable fat in there. Next, a pretty substantial, say in total, spoonful of flour. Into that, I'm going to put a touch of cinnamon, believe it or not, even though it's not a sweet dish, a little touch of cinnamon seems to work well in a cheese sauce. And then I'm going to put in the milk. And I'm going to need quite a bit of milk because I'm making quite a bit of sauce. Now, if ultimately I think I don't have quite enough, I can always add a bit more milk to it. And if it's not thickening up enough, I can always add a bit more flour. So before it starts, I'm just going to give a little bit of a stir. All I'm going to do now is turn the oven on, turn the hob on, and just keep stirring it until the fat melts. And gradually what will happen is that that will just thicken. Um, I'm not going to add too much seasonings to it. I'm going to add some cheese. So into that sauce later on, I'm going to add some cheese. I've got some vegan cheese here. And I'm going to add some nutritional yeast, which is always great in savoury dishes. Maybe a little pinch of salt possibly a sprinkle of herbs on the top when finished. Okay, so it's been about 10-15 minutes. Our sauce has thickened up perfectly. Our tomato sauce has reduced down perfectly. Our rose veg has roasted up perfectly. We're almost at the stage where we're going to put this all together. So before we do that... I'm going to turn the heat down on the sauce. And then I'm going to add, add in the cheese. And I'm going to add in some nutritional yeast. Mix it all together. And let that melt up and we have ourselves a cheese sauce. Okay, so we're back. So now I'm going to put a layer of our roast vegetables. Leave about half the mixture for the next layer. The good thing is, whatever we don't use, I just cut it into strips, dehydrate it, and then just put it to be used another time. And finally, pour our cheese sauce. Oh, 
I'm gonna do now, sprinkle some herbs over the top. Sprinkle a little bit of garlic. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 45 minutes. And here we have it. Nice and bubbling up. Bubbling over like all good lasagna should be. Put it down. You can see the beautiful layers in between. And there we have it, roast vegetable lasagna. Just like that. It's, when you break things down to the different steps, you can see cooking isn't really complicated. And look how easy it is to get in your five a day in a really, really tasty way. In our lasagna, we had roast vegetables. We had about three or four different types of vegetables. We had a really nice vegan cheese sauce. You could do um, regular cheese if you wish. But just to see how easy it is. Sometimes when we see dishes, we think, well, it's so complicated. I can't make this at home. I can't try this myself. I run off to the shop and, and buy one, but hey, you can make it yourself, and hey, it's pretty easy. Apart from anything else, we're developing life skills. Whether you're a kid, or a parent, or anyone else watching for anywhere in the world, let's get cooking. So once again, thanks for watching Food Tech 101. Don't forget you can uh, follow us on Facebook, and we're also available on Instagram. If you want to get hold of me via email, it's admin at foodtech101.co.uk. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right now, we're, we've gone past the 700 subscriber mark. Let's see if we can crank it up right away to our first 1,000. Thanks for joining me. As always, my name is Mr. Lionberg. But you can call me Sir. I think we know.